I can't think of a better way to get things started than by introducing you to some of the dolphins we care for every day. Coming up, on your left, this is Hutch and Diego. Hutch and Diego are bottlenose dolphins, which are just one of several different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans, that are found along the Florida coast. All the dolphins you'll meet here today were born within our SeaWorld parks, and they range in age from 12 to 43 years old. After today's presentation, be sure to visit the Dolphin Cove to learn more and get a closer look at this amazing marine mammal. Now that you've met some of our pod, let's dive in and talk about what makes these animals so cool. Nature has given them some amazing adaptations to allow them to navigate, forage, and play. Let's try a little experiment first, though. Can I have everybody here in the audience take a deep breath and hold it? How long do you think you can go before needing to take another? 30 seconds? Maybe a minute? All right, go ahead and release, because there's no way that you are going to hold your breath as long as these guys. Dolphins can hold their breath up to 15 minutes at a time. And all that air exchange happens right here at the top of the head, at the blowhole. Now, all these animals are trained to take a nice big breath so our SeaWorld veterinarians can get a good listen to their lungs. Now, at the top of the head is called the blowhole, and the exhale of a dolphin is called a chuck. We can listen in to see what that sounds like. So the chuck has been clocked at 60 miles per hour, but they don't just use their blowhole for, for breathing. They also use it to vocalize. So they use that blowhole to breathe and to communicate. But they also hold their breath while they forage for their prey. Dolphins eat a variety of different prey items, including fish, squid, and the occasional crustacean. They have to swim really fast in order to catch that prey. They can hit speeds up to 22 miles per hour. They can also use those powerful tails to get a better look above the surface. And they can get up and out of the water. Engaging our dolphins physically and mentally helps us give them the best care possible and provide exceptional animal welfare. With that care, we develop bonds and relationships with them much like you would with a dog. While dolphins seem to be natural athletes, it's our mutual love of play that encourages that connection between us. Over the past 50 plus years, SeaWorld has learned that their play ultimately leads to our discoveries. And while the playtime you'll see here today might just look like a lot of impressive jumps and spins, it's actually an essential part of how we care for them. Just watch.
like a whole lot of fun. Hey everybody, my name is Michael. And the chance to meet a dolphin like this, well, it could bring out the child in any of us. And childhood impressions can often last a lifetime. That's why today we hope to inspire a young SeaWorld guest in much the way that many of our animal caregivers were inspired on their early visits to SeaWorld. Hi, what's your name? Chloe, shake my hand. There you go, Chloe, where are you from? She, she's from her house. Okay. Where, where are you guys from? They're, they're right here from Orlando. Let's hear it for the Orlando locals. Right. Chloe, come over here. I want to introduce you to my buddy, Starbuck. You can stand up tall. It's okay. There you go. Um, Starbuck is one of my favorite dolphins. He's 43 years old. How old are you? You're just five. Well, we're going to introduce you to him, all right? Uh, to meet him, you got to get a little closer. Stand up tall. you got to go closer. One, one more step. Right up to the 24-foot drop-off. Good. Now, you're going to reach out with your hand, and he's going to come up, and you can hold on to his flipper. Starbuck, that's Chloe. Chloe, that's Starbuck. <laughs> Did you miss his flip? Do you want a do-over? No? You felt him. You, okay, you know what? If you want to rub him down, you can kneel down here with me. We can, you can feel him on his back. Just reach out here and you can rub him down. He's pretty soft and smooth, right? What do you think he feels like? Like, like a dolphin. He, yes, he feels like a dolphin. I'm going to show you a secret, Chloe. Uh, if you want to rub this flipper here, inside this flipper they have bones like your hand. Put your hand on there. If you took an x-ray, that's what you'd see inside. But Starbuck is also very ticklish. Can you give him a tickle right there? Just reach on out and get him. You gotta reach out and tickle him. Oh, it's all the guys are ticklish. <laughs> he, 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 he got you wet? Uh, well, a little bit? All right. Well, I'll show you another thing. He's got another ticklish spot right here on the back. So if you reach out right in front of this fin, you can tickle him there and we'll see what happens. One, two, three, tickle him. You know, I don't think that's very fair. I don't think we should let him get away with that. Why don't you reach in the water and you splash him back? Go ahead, splash him. Get him wet. No, don't slap. Splash. Splash him. That's it. Yes. No, you don't want to get any more wet? All right. Okay. Well, we won't do that. You can stand up and then we're going to give him some fish. Now, when you take your fish, you're just going to toss it in there, all right? Um, yeah, oh, don't squeeze it that tight. Oh, you got, you can let go of the death grip. Then you're, you're popping the eyeballs out, gentle. Okay. And then toss them in one at a time. First one, second one, third one. You're doing great. What kind of fish is this? Maybe dead, it is a dead fish. <laughs> you're doing great. Hey, you want to play a game? Stand in the middle, and we'll do follow the leader. Look at Starbuck and spin in a circle one time. You can stop. Look, he's watching. He's so good. All right, Starbuck. Let's get fancy, all right? We're going to be like fancy Nancy. Turn this way. Keep your eye on him. And when I say go, clap your hands one time. Ready? Set. I didn't say go. <laughs> you got to clap your hands real big. Ready, set, go. Hey, watch over here, Chloe. He's going to come up and out of the water. That was great. You're doing so great. I think before we go, we should give him a couple more fish. Come right up there and toss him in. That's it. Oh, no, Chloe. Look at your hands. Those are fish guts. Yeah. Well, I know, you don't need to wash your hands. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Okay, put your hands like this. And since he's watching you, you've got to spread those fast. Go faster. And then wave them off like the good. You're good. That's how we do it. But Chloe, before you go, come up to the front and give your new friend a big wave to say goodbye. Everybody, how about Chloe and Starbucks? just had an adventure and discovered a whole lot about dolphins. But discovery can also lead to risk. 
Dolphins are innately curious, and out in the ocean, this can lead them to explore polluted waters and play with trash. So how can we all help? Well, simple things can have big impacts. Recycle, join a beach cleanup, be sure to properly discard fishing line and plastic bottles. Better yet, choose reusable items and manage the amount of waste we produce. Small things can go a long way to protecting ocean life. Michael and I are just two of over 350 zoological professionals on the SeaWorld team. Collectively, we not only care for the dolphins here, but also have helped facilitate the rescue of over 38,000 animals with the goal of rehabilitating and returning them to their natural habitat. Your visit today matters. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to do this good work and save wildlife that needs our help. On behalf of our entire animal care team, we say thank you. When we care for our world and take action on behalf of the animals that call it home, that's part of the legacy we're leaving behind. And that legacy is worth celebrating! Goodbye, everyone, and enjoy your adventure here at SeaWorld.